So here's avocado in the bathtub, just taking a little bath. And just doing a little video so you guys can see his progression and his size. Mind you, this bathtub is five feet long from end to end. And pretty much if he stretches out, he's almost the whole length. He's well over three feet. And he is a big boy now. It's too cold now to put him out to put him in his outside pool or else I'd videotape him out there. He is hissing a little bit because I don't normally stand over him while he's in here. I just put him in the tub. The tub is about 85 to 90 degrees as far as like the water temperature. And he's hissing at me because like I said I don't normally stand over him talking and videotaping. I just let him sit in here and soak it up. He's in shed right now. As you can see all the little bits and pieces that are falling off of him. And this is the best time to just soak your monitor. So I'm going to leave him be for a little bit. If he starts to swim around, then I'll take some more video. Get a backed up view. See if I can get close to him without him. And there's the hissing. Like I said, I don't normally videotape my monitor. I don't normally get up in his space. He doesn't like it. I leave him be. I let him do his own thing. Nice and fat, fat tail. Okay, okay, okay. I'll stop videotaping you right now. Alright guys, um, when I pull him out, I'll do a video of me holding him so you guys can really see how big he's gotten. So stay tuned. Alright guys, uh, here's a, an update on avocado, on how big he's gotten, and uh, he actually just came out of his bath, and most of the time after his bath, I just put him away and let him relax. Um, I did a, I mean this is a video after the one I just did of him in his bathtub, so <clears throat> again this is all the same day. So he's getting a lot of attention by me. Um, he's just hissing right now because, well, he doesn't really like to be held too much. Most of the time I just let him be. Um, he won't, <clears throat> avocado never tries to bite. He's actually a really pretty good monitor. Uh, the reason for the gloves again is always for his nails. Without these gloves. Just the way he's walking right now, those nails of his just go right through my skin so easily. His nails are ex so extremely sharp. But other than that, <clears throat> um, I really wouldn't wouldn't need the gloves if it wasn't for his nails. He's not an aggressive animal. Uh, he used to tail whip when he was a little younger. He doesn't tail whip anymore. He just kind of does that little hissy thing that you hear him doing. And that's just letting me know that he doesn't like to be held at the moment. But again, he's very well fed. He eats every other day. Um, these monitors like to drink water every other day. He's blowing bubbles from his mouth. I don't know if you can tell. It's uh, something that mangrove monitors do uh, um, to just kind of intimidate you. Kind of like a, an animal with rabies with foam. Uh, on occasion, they even use their teeth to cut their mouths. And uh, they're kind of just... Like bubble blood and and saliva around their mouth and that's something these monitors do you I mean trust me it's not un uncommon or abnormal you can feel free to look it up on Google and research it if you'd like right now he's just bubbling uh, I haven't seen him bubble up blood in a long long time but he has done it to me and again it's just his way of saying you know put me down I don't want to be held and you know with these with these animals they're never really tame you just kind of have to learn to respect them and give them their space but again, he's he's fairly nice. Never tried, like I said, doesn't try to bite. And he has gotten so big. At this point, I, I keep calling him a he because if it were a female, it probably wouldn't be this big. And that's just uh, my take on it. I don't know for a fact if avocado is male or female. These animals are sexually dimorphic, which means that males are typically larger than females and females usually average two and a half to three feet which he is way over so that leads me to believe that avocado is in fact a boy um, 
he just passed a year old a couple of months back I was gonna do a video on his birthday but truthfully I don't know the exact month that avocado was born but I do know more or less the time frame and that's how I can tell you he's over a year old <clears throat> let's try and get his backside still holding color beautifully uh, he's actually in the shed so if you like his color now this is him in the shed let's see if we can turn him around to his head um, he's not afraid of me he's not afraid of people he just does not like to be held I feed him primarily turkey he gets a lot of salmon, shrimp, uh, chicken gizzards. Uh, I'm going to include a video attached to this of him eating some chicken gizzards. And all I do is I just thaw them out in hot water, uh, sprinkle reptic calcium on them, and I put it in a bowl and I just let him eat it. I don't give him anything too too raw. I do, I do thaw everything in very hot water for him. So it kind of, I wouldn't say cooks it, but I just don't like to feed him a bloody mess because I don't know what kind of bacteria is in, in some of these meats. <clears throat> Try my best to give him healthy food. He does not eat very many rodents. I know he looks a little obese and overweight, but I can assure you he eats very healthy. And he's a very active monitor. As you can see, he swims a lot, moves a lot, and if I put him down, he would run around this room like a chicken without a head. Anywho, uh, this is the update for Avocado. Hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, long overdue video. I know a lot of people message me and ask me if I still have him. And I do. He's doing very, very well. Like you can see, look at that tail. And. I'm gonna put him away now because he is basically telling me to put him away and leave him alone. And that's what I'm gonna do. Hope you guys enjoy this and thanks for watching.